Well, uh, hello guys. Today uh, we are gonna get PyCharm Professional uh, for free. Actually, I have been coding on uh, Visual Studio Code, and as you can see, uh, I have been thinking about actually migrating to uh, PyCharm. Yeah, and I just made kind of research, and uh, it says that uh, some students and teachers and also startups and uh, many other uh, kind of in, in cases you can get PyCharm professional for free uh, and uh, today I just wanted to show the end-to-end -end, uh, path you know roadmap how to get it for free let's just go uh, I haven't downloaded PyCharm yet it's new also for me and we're just gonna migrate together okay uh, as far as I know that we need to go to uh, JetBrains because that's the company that owns uh, PyCharm and also like uh, Intel IDEA this for Java and Kotlin is it's written here and then we just need PyCharm right this for Python it comes with all uh, libraries included and especially it's like you know develop it suited for uh, the Django and uh, I saw my friends using this PyCharm and I was like still in the uh, VS Code uh, and I was like, let's, let's just try it out. And I'm, I'm not saying uh, VS Code is bad, it's actually really good, really powerful. Uh, but as I code in Python a lot, PyCharm would be, I mean like, why not? I just, let's just see it. Uh, we just come to this uh, jetbrains.com and then we go to this button. So this, uh, I watched some videos on YouTube and the UI has changed it. So uh, it's gonna be here uh, if you're in 2024, maybe in 2025, 26, until the next UI changes, okay? Let's just go to here, JetBrains, and this is like uh, subscription options and pricing. Okay, you can see for organizations, individual use, special uh, cat categories. Yeah, see, you, if you have a startup, uh, you can just get it 50% off uh, like discount to your like 10 commercial licenses. That's really great. And for universities and educational organizations, so that's for organizations. We are actually a uh, student. For example, I, I study at the University of Arizona and uh, I'm just gonna use my email for that. But you gotta have the email. I, I just I just should tell it from the beginning. Uh, you gotta have an email of the university. And it's gonna look like something like this. Uh, let's, let me go to... Uh, my email first. I hope you're not gonna read my emails, guys. So uh, it's gonna be something like this. Yeah, just you know, Arizona.e.edu. Yeah. Okay. Uh, special characters. We don't need it. Just go to st uh, students and teachers and community free. And uh, here, this is what we need. We just look, pass. Uh, learn more you can just pause and just read all those like uh descriptions if you need it uh yeah and again here for students and teachers for universities for non-academic educators uh if you if you work in an educational center you can you can also get it and uh here free educational licenses okay uh let's see this uh like conditions right so it's conditional must only be used for non-commercial educational purposes. So, uh, you know, like if you work in education, educational centers, if you're getting paid for that, so it's like, no, uh, maybe uh, renewed free uh, of charge as long as you are a student for, or a teacher. So like uh, I studied at the university for four years, right? And at this, within this time, I can get, I can use it for free. And once I graduate, so I should be paying for it, which I will. And may not be used for development of any organization's products or services. So uh, if you got it free, don't, just don't use that for commercial products. You know, just, you know, it depends on you totally. Uh, just be honest. 
and may not be shared with any third parties. Yeah, like you can give someone else your account and they can also just download it. Uh, come on, like, and again, it just depends on you. So uh, let's go. Uh, okay, we don't need to read all those. We just need to apply for it. So for applying, uh, I'm gonna use my email address. As I told you, you need an university email address or SIS, I mean, ISIC, yeah. I don't know what this is, but uh, we can just check it out. And uh, yeah, again, so, oh, if you have GitHub Student Developer Pack, you can also get it. I didn't know about this. So uh, let's choose our uh, country. United States and computer science, correct. I'm just gonna go and then uh, copy my email here and then uh, just pass it. Good, uh, full name as it appears in your password or tribal license. Okay guys, uh, I'm just gonna be like typing everything. I hope you're not gonna hack my accounts. Okay, which, I, which, will, which you will not be able to do by the way. Okay, I am under 13 years old. No, I'm not. And receive information. Oh, cool. Like, let's let's observe. Apply for free. Yeah, thank you. Please follow the instructions in the verification email we sent you. Okay, you can link JetBrains educational pack to your to another email address later. To another email address later. Okay. Okay. I don't know. But uh, let's just check it out what this uh, says. So it just came, you're receiving this email because your email was used to register or update a JetBrain educational pack. Okay, we just need to follow this. After accepting license, you will be asked to sign up for, okay. You will need to use this account whenever you want to access JetBrain tools. Cool, thank you guys, I love you. Okay, let's just go to this uh, link. Uh, I pressed it already and it should open something like get started keep it going you're just one step away using JetBrains educational pack for free thank you okay let's just uh, just quickly read and then uh, just you know I'm not gonna be taking a lot of time you can just you know uh, pass this section but for me as it's new for me I'm just gonna go through them uh, like really fast okay Products means any uh, generally available jet software. Cool. Okay. Free payment subscription to not apply to redistributed pro products. Okay. Okay. Grant of rights. Oh, we can grant it, right? Unless the subscription has expired or this agreement is terminated, terminated in accordance with section 10. Section 10. What is that? Oh, that's a lot, guys. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I, I just accept whatever that is. I don't have a choice. Create a JetBrains account. Uh, welcome. Link your JetBrains pack to you. Oh, what is this? Not registered? Uh, I think I registered, right? Did I? Did I? sign up like how come I don't have like what does this what does it say uh, after accepting license you will be asked to sign up for JetBrain account oh we need to sign up we need to sign up guys so let's put this email again my university's email and then just username for example like uh, what I'm gonna say just my name and password okay guys I'm not gonna let you see that can you see that I'm just gonna change it after this video, so don't worry about it. Okay, uh, already taken. Oh, someone has taken it, man. What I'm gonna say, like, Mohsin, like, you know. Okay, just say founder. Yeah, why not? Yeah, can we say it? Cool, cool. Uh, but it's, it looks like really nasty. Oh, maybe capital? No. Just one to three, maybe. But I don't like this kind of names. Okay. Just let me, let me, just you know, 
uh, maybe uh, I can change it later, right? I can change it later, like 100%. Okay, uh, just let me know in the comments, like what should be this username. Uh, I, I, I would love to see it. So, uh, Muxin, just, you know, whatever, one, two, three, for example, I will change it, whatever. Come on, it's not taken, right? Come on, reload. Okay, I'll just submit it. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's actually great. Okay, new password. Oh, new password. Okay. No, no, I don't need it. No, don't do it. No, I want it. Oh, what is that? Okay, I, I'm not gonna take your time, guys. I will just do it after, uh, after finishing the video. So uh, let's go. Following products included. Uh, act, okay, okay. Where is it? Pie charm. Okay, okay. Oh, here. After downloading and installing the software, simply run it and follow the on-screen prompts to sign in with your JetBrains account. Oh, we need to sign in again. Okay, let's just download it. Uh, why Python? Okay. Oh, I mean da data science and web development. Oh, cool. It's a free community, full fledged or free community. Maybe I should press it, right? Oh yeah. So, uh, Py PyCharm Professional. The okay. Oh. So Intel. Which one should I go? Which one should I go? App Apple Silicon. Apple Silicon Intel. I don't know. Just let me quickly uh, check it up. Check it up. Just the guys, guys. Oh, just the guy. Oh my God. Just a minute. So, uh, which one should I go? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna ask quickly from a friend, and uh, because I don't want to be like downloading. Uh, something like crazy or like not compatible version and like again just clearing the caches and everything uh, the between okay oh okay uh, my MacBook uses M1 right so we need to go with Apple Silicon uh, yeah so, okay yeah like it's it's basic uh if if your macbook uh is like you know uh let me just quickly read it again oh uh if your macbook has a type of process uh the type of processor is depends on intel uh, uh like intel based mac then you need to go for dmg intel but if your mac uh have a newer like uh, M1 or M2 chips, and then uh, which uses Apple Silicon ar architecture. Okay, you should be downloading that uh, Apple Silicon for, like from now on, basically. Okay, I think it's finishing up. One gigabyte. Cool. <clears throat> Let's just open it. So uh, here, Python application. Okay, so it is going in here. Oh my god, two three gigabytes. So we should be cool right now. Let's just search PyCharm. Yeah, it should open now. And we need to sign in, by the way, guys. Just do not go. You haven't signed it in yet. Okay, okay. Open it. It's opening it on my this screen, so can just confirm and continue. Why does it always open it here? Okay, activate paid license. So what now? Maybe I should activate, right? Maybe. Does it? What does that say? Uh, learn. 
products that can make use of the internet from a corporate network. Uh, products are evaluated offline. How can I make the trial more effective? No. No, yes, it's free. You have access to a full feature product for 30 days. It doesn't. You should download the style shortly. If it doesn't exist, please use the direct link. Uh, unverified file checksums. What kind of file is this? Oh, that's kind of secret. Uh, of course, that is. Activate paid license. I think I activate. Yeah, I press it activate. Uh, you can do it on your own. I mean, uh, just choose one. Just uh, paid license. Start trial. Okay, log in. Let's log in. So I'm logging into my uh, JetBrains account. Authorization successful. Oh, it gave me. Well, okay. You can close this page and return to ID. Mm -hmm. I'm returning. Are active until September 3, 2025. So we successfully got that pie charm, guys. Here you go. License it to me, and license ID is that. And don't don't dare to use any credentials, please, please. Like you know, I don't want to be spending like time here on like editing my video. <laughs> I just want to just push it on YouTube. Remove, activate new license. Continue, continue. So uh, I'm really sorry. It's asking some. Yeah, that was like really bad quality video. I'm really sorry. Next time I will be prepared much better. Okay. Visual Studio Code. Oh, we need Visual Studio Code. So I, I'm just gonna copy. Oh, we just need, we can even copy plugins and key maps and UI theme and then recent projects even. Import settings. Good. Here we go, guys. We have this pie charm and uh you can see the the products uh that i ha i was i have been working on so uh you can just see it and start a new project and we have got pytron professional for free yeah guys thank you so much for your time and then i i think uh, my video is gonna help you to get this uh free professional student whatever version and uh i hope that was like well detailed video. See you next time.